a lot of thinking. <laughs> a lot of characters thinking to themselves. That's that's kind of annoying. I don't know about that. Hello and welcome. My name is Jay Ian. With me today is my good old friend Alexander Gonzalez. Happy Pokemon Eve, everyone. Happy Pokemon Eve, everyone. And please remember that we are not game devs. How are you doing today, Alex? I'm ready to be a Pokemon trainer, Jay. So am I, dude. I am seriously actually thinking about doing this anime rewatch, but I just don't know how I'm going to balance that with One Piece, you know? Where can I even um, watch Pokemon? I don't want you to watch Pokemon if you're... Because I want you to go full steam ahead on One Piece. So we can talk about the latest, the oh, one the, arc. The current arc. I slowed down a lot now that I don't have like a TV. You know what I mean? Um, and like stuff to do while watching. Because like, I used to watch anime while I do stuff like cook and clean and fold clothes and do laundry. All that type of stuff. I used to watch anime while doing things. But now that I have a new living situation, I don't really have a routine. I'm just not doing as much anime watching. Uh, but... One Piece is getting good, man. Uh, Sanji and Luffy finally met, and Luffy finally ate, and I don't know what's gonna happen. We're we're about to get uh, onto the wedding day. It's it's oh the wedding day with uh no not cinnamon. What's his name? Pudding. Yeah, pudding. <laughs> uh, Everyone. Yeah, but it it's getting exciting. Like we've we've gotten into a lot of twists and turns with this wedding. The most disappointing thing so far was the Luffy and Sanji fight. I was like, this is lame. This is stupid as shit. Nothing nothing pales to the fucking Usopp Luffy fight. Like I was like, damn, mm -hmm. this is some good Luffy shit. Luffy beats the fuck out of Sanji. Yeah. <laughs> there was a, I like I think I was eating and I put down my fork where I was like Oh shit! Luffy's giving him lumps. You mean uh, Usopp? Y yeah, no, that Luffy was giving Usopp lumps. Yeah, yeah you're right, because he 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 beat him up pretty good. Pretty bad, yeah. Like it, like he wasn't holding back, which was cool. And Usopp kind of did what he could, you know. Yeah. Um, the Sanji and Luffy fight. I was like, this is dude dumb. I don't where like where I am where. Uh, so far, my favorite has been the non-mean power-ups. I love when because the way that these characters level up and they're it's well, I like that it's not about arcs anymore, but it just makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh I'm I'm having a great time with it. We'll we'll get eventually to Wano, I am sure. Uh, but those are not the animes we are talking about today. Today, we are creating something new every week on We Are Not Game Devs. We imagine a brand new video ga game idea from our minds. Join in on the fun, be creative, and if you have your own unique video game idea or want to patch into ours, write in to appoundgames at gmail.com. Today is my turn to present We Are Not Game Devs 232nd IP. Now, I know I just created a game that's very similar to this, but this game just came to me yesterday and I decided just to go with it. We are making a game in this world where... <sighs> The guns are kind of like airsoft guns and the ammunition, magic D20s. You know what I'm saying? And so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. these D20s have whatever effect that they have. Some are like lightning D20, like they'll have like magic and you get all this ammo and then you put it into these guns and you could get different types of guns. Some will be like pistols. Some will be like submachine guns some would be like literal like chain da, 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 like so like giant what if machine it, guns yeah what if the different guns roll different die so like a machine gun or like a scar would be a d20 and then a shotgun would be a d6 right yeah i see what you mean uh or like multiple like you get because like a shotgun hit, shoots like six bullets or whatever right so you get to roll like 64s or something like that um i like that you know what i mean and then uh yeah so each one will get a different die die then associated you could get, with it yeah and then you could get like different colored die which uh would have like you said or d different elements so then you put the die into specific guns so there's different ammo and die and depending on if it's a d6 d4 d2 d1 because I think like a D1, it would be interesting if that was like a melee weapon. I think what would end up, what I kind of want it to be is like, 
in your inventory and you could probably i think we could do this in a cool satisfactory way where you go to the dice ammo shop and it's like i imagine it kind of being like you know when you go to like the mall in the 90s you could go to the candy shop and get that bowl and just fill it up with colored sugar and it's just like you go from station to station with different colored sugar and you can make that like still exists people shit. at at theme parks they do it um at non Disney branded theme parks, they yeah, do yeah. it with tubes. But you you do that right, and then but like in this, it's like dice, and you just fill it up, and then you could put get like so you could. I I imagine you could have an inventory system where you have like six magazines filled up and ready to go, and you can make it any mix of things, or you can make each one its own element, or you could have one that like goes lightning fire, lightning fire, lightning fire, lightning fire, or like you know whatever you want, and then. In the game, you can interchange magazines whenever you want and fill them up and have auto fill up times and stuff like that. And then like, um, so you could change magazines on the fly so you could get different die effects, right? And yeah, you could, in the world, open world uh, RPG, I'm assuming you could run around, find new guns that have different stats that use better die, find ammo that gives different elements and different effects to your gun uh and all of them like i imagine on the ui it's like turn based and then you, every time you shoot a gun on the top right it rolls the dice in real time and then it does the damage after the dice and rolls i think it can do damage and then add effects right yeah so i think it would be cool if there was one where it was like a cloning die where it kept cloning itself and due to that like when you roll it it actually clones maybe the ammo six times so like what you're like a normal gun like a shotgun which would fire one would be like a three round burst or if you're like uh like if it's a nail gun now it's shooting three nails in a spread kind of yeah. thing i could also imagine it yeah it could get that complicated the type of ammo you buy but then it could also be basic like you get lightning <laughs> bullets or you get fire or bullets i i guess like i'm that. thinking about you know, the same way that in Marvel Snap, there's locations that change like the way that you play, but it's yeah. just an overarching change. I was thinking I think something cool. like, like that if, from the elements. If you do have that cloning dice, you could mix the cloning dice with, or uh, ammo, we should call it, with fire ammo, and then it just clones yeah. the fire damage. You know what I mean? Like you could yeah. mix effects like that um, in this game. Like you'll have, at first, uh, maybe we can make it so those crazier... Um, ammo types are more harder to find and harder to craft whereas the basic mm -hmm. basic ammo that's just your regular dice with no effects is like the easiest to craft you could just have pretty much an unlimited supply and they're super cheap to get but then you start getting to the basic element dice and then you start getting into like special effect dice and poisoning dice and like light attack dice and stuff like that and then it'll work kind of like pokemon or your regular uh rpgs where things will have weaknesses to certain elements and certain typings and all that stuff like when you're in the water area you might want to have more magazines with lightning dice in it because you probably will run into enemies that are weak to lightning <clears throat> yeah i think this is a cool game there's a lot of different possibilities that could happen here and uh, you can kind of come up with strategies while still keeping up an air of randomness that you can kind of go around once you understand how everything works. Yeah, and I think you could, it, like, I feel like if you mix in your dice magazines uh, well enough, you could even, like, start combining different types of ammo types to work in your benefit to, like, multiply your damage in ways that if you just do all lightning in a magazine and all fire in a magazine you're not going to get the full effects of the game uh and maximize damage or whatever right i think you can also have different dice that would also help with platforming and movement so you can have one where there's you know maybe there's powers that upgrade your movement so you're jumping sliding mm. um maybe you get like a grappling hook or something where you can build stuff in the level Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, I think uh, you can have another dice that shoots through walls that maybe it's something where it like swims through walls. In terms of graphics and stuff like that, I, I maybe this will also 
get you to like think about how the dice could be used in other ways i was thinking it would kind of look like octopath traveler like 2.5d isometric so top down yeah and you're running okay, around so no like platforming this, you can yeah, do like, like open world um so now i'm thinking about it so instead of platforming i could see things like after images so if there's heat seeking or um, something that like randomly attacks people, you can do after images where it'll those bullets would then go into that your after image. Yeah, I could even see stuff like if you want environmental like puzzles where it, it'll be like in Pokemon, you would need like an HM strength to move a boulder and then you get access to like this cave and stuff like that. So there'll be like dice around that have like field effects and they're like different from dice that you put into your gun like these are just dice that just work with tech maybe like these are just dice for around the world and it's not the role that is important but they work more like a key i guess is what it would be like that's just what the keys look like in this world or dice shaped mm -hmm. there'll be a basic d6 or something like that um but yeah, we could have stuff like that, like HMs, essentially, but they're dice. Yeah, no, I, I like that idea a bit better because then um, there's going to be a different part of the game where do you want to attack um, right away or do you want to start solving the puzzles of the world? And then also everyone's eventually going to know that you can unlock that cave for special dice. So how are you going to fight other people while doing so? Yeah. And I do kind of see it playing like a Pokemon where it's like you're just traveling around this open world. You get into random encounters and battle people along the street. Uh, it could have kind of more of a Final Fantasy-esque vibe to it, though. Not so like kitty like Pokemon, but Final Fantasy-esque where like there'll be cutscenes where you're being chased by like dudes and you got to get you got to fight them to get them out of your path and stuff like that running across. Uh but I do see it like you're traveling from like the small hometown and then you eventually get in this bigger adventure in this bigger world and you get tied in with like po politics and government figures and shit like that. Classic JRPG shit. You know what I mean? Right. Do you want it to be co-op where like I think it would be fun to have it where you can play with buddies, but like actual real people or do you mean like have a party yeah. of like actual like a jrpg party or do you mean like people? you can have a jrpg party but then somewhat like a second player can go and play with uh hmm. as one of your characters i mean i i don't see why that would hurt but like that'd be like really 90s co-op stuff where like you could only play during the battle systems you know what i mean kind of like a mm -hmm. uh, child of light how they do it where like the second player just moves the star around <laughs> yeah i don't know i just thought like because then it has sort of like a borderlands-esque type of feel where both of you are collecting dice and then moving around and doing quests yeah that'd be an interesting concept if it was like more diablo-esque and not so much pokemon mm -hmm. slash final fantasy-esque where it's you running around uh because like i assumed this would be turn-based um but if it's more like live action rpg style which i think it could work it's just the roles will then be more for a visual benefit not like you're waiting on every dice roll you know what i mean because like if you're running around an open world just shooting a machine gun you don't actually care about the dice rolling it's gonna do damage yeah. regardless you know what i mean um mm. whereas in turn based like every time you attack you're like waiting for whatever the dice roll is um but maybe it could incorporate some kind of i'm trying to think how it would work like i feel like if if Let's make it like that. Yeah, sure. So it's going to be the first 2.5D Borderlands-like loot base where you're looking for guns with different effects and ammo that has different effects and crafting and stuff like that in this open world running around 
Uh, but I think the attack thing can still be turn-based. It will just be like, you know how in those fan-made Pokemon MMOs, if people are battling and you go to them, you could just see them battling. And if you try to interact with them, it's like paper papers is in a battle or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like that's what it would just have to be. You know what I mean? Um, okay. But yeah, I, I like it. Like Maybe a 2.5 D borderlands. Like, yeah. I mean, I think you can still do quests and have fun that way, but I think uh, like doing different things with these dice would be cool. And then having it where, uh, the There's dice like, also have different effects and then you can maybe do environmental effects with your buddies and then do combos like that. I think what we're making here is like a physics based engine game where you're like testing different stuff and trying to almost break the game, but not really, you know, like trying to see what works and what kind of strategies you can do with these dice. Yeah. Uh, and I, I could see, the loot kind of working more like Borderlands does less, or I guess kind of like how Diablo, where you just get all these different loot with very slight varying things. And just sometimes you'll get more rare loot than other times, I guess. And we could still have bosses with cool stuff. Like for instance, we can have a boss that does like a vampire build where maybe they have after images and then they also have, um, health stealing bullets yeah i i i know like how bosses i think would work in this game is before every major mini boss or big boss i think it'll just do it how borderlands kind of does it where if a character goes into a boss or story mission area it just pulls the other character from the open world uh into that instance type of thing and then right. in the world i think how if you're just fighting random ads and open world creatures uh you could before the match begins you have an opportunity to wait for your co-op partner but if you don't want to wait for them it's just a 1v1 but if you wait for them it could be a 2v whatever and then it spawns more monsters for the co-op and person I'm thinking we don't have to go too deep with the story in this game. I th What makes sense to me is that you're a player controlling um, like a card game or you're controlling it, an actual character in a game. So maybe it's a game within a game mm. where, you know, you have this avatar that you that you can customize with different clothing and stuff. And maybe you unlock different items and titles based on your achievements and then you're you're playing against other players and trying to get ahead in this tournament. Yeah, yeah. I don't think the story can has to be all that serious. I think it's just an epic RPG. Similar to like Mega Man, you know? Open world, yeah. And it's just a basic outline and it's just a fun world to run around, do side quests, lots of RPG references, just like Tiny Tina's does it, where it's just all the side quests are references to pop culture and uh things like that and dungeons Dr dragons all that stuff um cool music i think it has to be chip tune yeah but like fan what if it's like fantasy like chip tune but kind of like also contemporary music but all on chip tune so it it has like a whole score and soundtrack but it's all like chip tune sounding um but sometimes it could get pretty epic. I can see. Yeah, definitely. We can have stuff like that. Um, and I see this where there's going to be like the dialogue is going to be like little beeps and boops like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. Pricing. I could actually see this as a $60 game. Just full price. It's going to be it. The story's not great, but it, it has hours and hours and hours of content. Co-op. Like a bunch of story and, uh... quests or side quests. And if you do $60, you can do updates, free updates too, where you add different dice and then add different locations and quests that you can do. Uh, because like I said before, we can do stuff where uh, we can have an entire like zombie themed, like witchcraft themed dice. Yeah. We could have a whole Halloween quest that like takes you through mm -hmm. a new area and stuff like that. Like we could do a lot I thought of it would stuff. be cool if, uh, 
you had like zombie bullets that were made. Yeah. I don't, I don't know exactly how this would work, but I, I could see it where like if you miss those bullets will come, will still chase the target very slowly until there's just tons of bullets on the screen. Yeah. Uh, Imagine like what they said, like if you could get paid a million dollars, but there would be a snail chasing you for the rest of your life. But if that snail touched you once, you would die. Those kind of bullets. Sure. Like death counters and stuff. I see what you mean. Mm -hmm. All right, Alex, it's time to start your timer because it's time to name this game. It started. Luck of the draw, because you're drawing a gun, but it's dice. But it would make more sense if it, there, it was a card game. <laughs> right. Has nothing to do with cards. Um. Bullets and dice mixed together. Bull ice. Duelets. Damo. <laughs> Demo. <laughs> a D. D gun. D bullet. D ammo. D gun. D. Demo. Duelet. Bullet. Dice for bullets. Dice for bullets. Dice gun. Gun dice. Gun dice. Gun roll. Roll gun. <laughs> roll the dice. Gun dice sounds fine. Gun dice. It's close to it's close to gun, isn't it? Gun dice. Gun dice. Yeah, sure. Gun Together. dice. Gun, gun dice, dice in one, one minute and twenty two seconds. Gun dice is a two point five D isometric shooting game where you use dice as ammo and unique guns with different effects to increase your damage add effects and create useful strategies in this RPG world so I think we have a game here Alex what do you think would this game be, would this be a game you want to play and is it fun yeah I'd want to play this game to break it and I think it would be lots of fun yeah I think it would be a good time just running around finding loot and a cool open world co-op game in a 2.5 D world, which I don't think happens too often, except for like in Stardew Valley. Uh, now that we have a complete game, what game studio would you assign to make gun dice the best? I don't want blizzard to do it. Blizzard's good. Blizzard's good. I think if they're to do a 2.5 D mobile app gun dice that just came out, um, I think it would be a lot of fun. You know who would be amazing at this? I'm trying to get their developer name because I don't remember it right off my top of my head. Yacht Club Games, the people behind Shovel Knight. Yeah, they'd be great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Super, uh, which one is it? Super Giant, I think. The Hades, Pyre, Bastion. Um, they could do something cool with it. Straight up just Gearbox, you know make a better borderlands but with dice um, yeah and i was even thinking um we could do little games the people behind afk arena <laughs> yeah yeah why why not why, why not? not you know yeah fuck it they have a lot of money um all of a sudden not only do be... they have a lot of money but they could they could do different stuff with it you know who would actually also be really good with it is um what is it? Mo, Mo, Mo something. Let me look up. Mojang? Here. Is it Mojang? No, it's uh, Mihoyo. Mihoyo. The people behind Genshin Impact. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Still have not played that. Oh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, dude. Genshin Impact's pretty good. Uh, if you have 5,000 hours. And with that, our 232nd IP has gone gold. We hope you look forward to this experience that will probably never release. 
we have a Patreon. If you'd like to give us extra support, please head over to patreon.com slash we are not game devs. For just a dollar, patrons receive episodes early and an extra podcast at the beginning, which caught the tail end of our conversation at the beginning of this episode. That's patreon.com slash we are not game devs. Like, rate, and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. And if they ask for a review, instead of reviewing our show, become your inner game critic and review Gun Dice, the video game we just created. Thank you for joining us today. We'll be back next Friday with another new IP. Again, my name is J.E. And I'm A.G. Thank you. And please remember that we are not game devs. We have an hour and 20 minutes to go. I got to edit this. I know. Go get dinner and then just fucking go. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should nap or if I should just go to sleep and wake up like at 640 a.m. And not check social media, not do anything. Why don't you just be irresponsible and just go to work very tired and just because it's it's insurance and it's so boring. It's so boring. Like the jobs I did, my previous job was taxes. And when you would go in tired, I would it was so hard to pay attention. <laughs>